on WGN.FM. We're at Festival Park at the Grand Victoria Casino in Elgin. It's our Southern Rock Day today, and I got one of my all-time favorite bands, the Outlaws here, Henry Paul Matteo, with me here. I'm telling you, guys, they just played. I don't even know how you could be sitting here because you guys killed. You killed tonight, and thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, man, you know. I mean, you guys have been doing it for a while, and, you know, you guys, Florida, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, okay, you got a band called the Outlaws, you know, but how did this all happen with a band from Florida and not from Texas or Alabama or Tennessee? Yeah, it was just the name, and I, we it's loved it. Name. It's a great name, and, you know, the band was sort of like a country, western, sort of cowboy rock and roll band, and it all stuck in the right place, right time, right noise. It was. It was a good uh, a moment, you know, part of a big moment with Tucker and Charlie and, you know, of course, the Almonds and uh, Skinner. But we were the last, you know, well, a Hatchet came after us. But, I mean, it was, a, it, was, it was a club, and we were lucky enough to be a part of it. A part of it, man. You're a serious part of it. I mean, you've got, I mean, to be in the, you know, Outlaws, Hatchet, Charlie Daniels, I mean, you know, Leonard Skinner. Now, I know Ronnie Van Zandt had a big part of what you guys had going on, a big part. I mean, tell me about his, his, his effect on this band. Well, we were a, fan, a huge fan of, of, of Leonard Skinner and, and Ronnie, and uh, Ronnie was a friend to all of us, and he was instrumental in getting some record company excitement for us when it really counted. And uh, he steered us to several different companies and management that ultimately got us what we did, uh, the deal, and uh, on with a career. And so, I mean, we, Ronnie was instrumental in it. And, you know, I didn't realize just how much of a part of the business world and the producing world that Ronnie Van Zant was. I mean, really, you know, as you do the research and you, and you talk to different bands, especially bands in, in your world, I mean, he had his thumbprint on so many of them. He really did. Muriel, too. I mean, he was not just a, you know, a hillbilly singer. He was, you know, a smart guy, and uh, and he was really intrigued by the business. And he was, you know, very acutely aware of the financial rewards and where he stood and who did what and what they got. He was a very principled and really uh, a sharp. He was a really sharp rock and roll star. He wasn't a dimwit, you know. He was a really sharp guy. Now, tell me about the, um, I mean, your harmonies, you know, are unbelievable, you know. And it was, an, was it a relatively new thing at the time, the, the, the three guitars up in front battling it and, and the harmonies? I mean, that's such a, such a great feature of your band. Yeah, I, I think we were that from the beginning. I mean, uh, some of our influences, uh, like the Birds and the Buffalo Springfield and uh, groups like that, that used a lot of harmony at the time. And, uh, of course, the Allman Brothers were the guitars and uh, oh, the Alma uh, had a big effect you know, on you guys. Yeah, absolutely, that. absolutely. And I think it was a, just a melting pot of all that. That uh, everybody had their own influence, you know, and uh, and we just like developed that into the Outlaws and, and and made it our signature and had some work. Paul Rothschild was very helpful doing our first record and how to harness that, uh, how to harness those harmonies. Henry and Huey worked quite. Uh, extensively with Paul Rothschild, and he was a great first-time producer that uh, that wrote that all in. I mean, we were organized chaos, and I think Paul brought that all in, and then every producer as well along the way. Well, you know, it's just a fabulous style that you have, and it's and it's it's a very unique style, especially in the southern rock realm. You know, I mean, you don't see that very much. It's it's more of a party rock kind of feel, but the way you guys combine the 
harmonies, the vocal harmonies, with the get the power guitars all up in front. Man. Right? It's a really, really just one of my favorite parts of, of the album. <laughs> Going back, you know, I talked to Artemis, obviously, Artemis Pyle, uh, drummer of uh, Leonard Skinner earlier, and we talked, you know, he was obviously one of the guys that was on the plane that fatal night, you know, in October, October 20th. But how did it affect you guys, besides obvious ways? I mean, how did it affect you when you heard of this tragedy? I mean, being so close to that band. And it was devastating. I mean, it was, it was really one of the first people that I think that I had to deal with the loss of, like on a like in the musical community. Tommy Caldwell died, I think, after Ronnie. But I mean, that was like I went to the funeral, and they, you know, we were all just devastated. And I, it's unbelievable that that could happen. And then, uh, you know, it was sort of the beginning of the end of that era. It really, really was. Now, you guys are doing, I mean, you guys are touring like crazy. I told you tonight was, I was, just, I don't know, I don't know what I expected. It was amazing. It was just as good as ever. You guys are touring a whole bunch. What you got coming up? You got some new projects? Oh, God, I got a dotted calendar across this country. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> but it's all good. But you're yeah, still having working. fun. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. you guys, right? And we're writing new music. We're going to come out with an album next year for our 40th uh, anniversary. Well, we are so excited that you were here. I'm excited that, to be a part of your 40th anniversary yeah. next year. And Henry Monty, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. We were backstage with the boys from the Outlaws, Henry and Monty. <laughs> they killed it tonight. We'll see you next time. Backstage at WGN.FL. The Outlaws.